of all patients in the first study that we now are in the terrorism. Why do you think uh, bone density is so important in relation to this disease PKU? It is not that important compared to the metabolic control and the neurologic out outcome. But in fact, we observe that the bone disease can appear in PKU patients and they can have low bone density, mainly in adolescents and in adulthood. And perhaps it will induce some deleterious effect in late adulthood. So we have to take care of it. So, and how frequent is this relationship? It is difficult to answer to this question because all PKU patients are different. We ca what we can say is that we observe it mainly in severe form of PKU who are on severe diet, on strict diet. And we are less observing it in patients with loose diet or in patients with BH4 responsiveness who are treated by sap saproptyrin. Do PKU patients have an increased risk for uh, bone fractures? Fractures have been shown in PKU, but in very, very old studies. It is a study uh, done in the 80s. Since this time, we do not uh, see any publication showing increased fracture risk. What we see, it is an increased osteopenia or is increased osteoporosis risk. And this will have some consequence in the, in, in the future of this patient. So it must be checked can be uh, treated and what is very interesting is, is to see that this uh, bond, low bone density appears in patients who are really good patients, who are really taking their diet just because in fact the diet is made of uh, amino acids and these patients are taking very few natural proteins and a bone is not just calcium or uh, phosphorus uh, inside, it is also a protein and these proteins probably are not exactly the same when you take amino acids on what you, t you eat natural proteins. And the lesson of that is as much as we can increase the natural protein intake while maintaining a good metabolic control, as much you can improve the bone outcome. Okay, and how often uh, should we monitor for bone density uh, in PKU patients? How often? I, 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 would, I would propose to do it at 10 and 15 years old and then in early adulthood. In my center, we have the chance to do it at 6, 10, 15 uh, years old during, uh, because we are doing a big screening of all our patients at the trends of the primary school, the secondary school, and then when they go to the, uh, the high school. But uh, everybody can do it one can. I would, consider, uh, I would propose to do it at 10 and 15 years and then to propose trying to improve the diet in terms of natural protein, if possible, trying to ask for physical activity because we know that physical activity improves the bone density and uh, trying to give uh, the best uh, calcium and vitamin D intake if it is the only parameters when we can play on. So how, how would you translate this knowledge um, uh, to, to the parents or the patients themselves? I would say ask to your clinic if it's possible to check the bone density. If it's fine, okay. If there is some decrease in bone density, ask to your uh, doctors if there's any risk of any deleterious effect, I would say fracture, probably not. But pain, bone pain can appear if you have osteoporosis. And uh, the problem is the late outcome, because we know that women in particular uh, are at risk of osteoporosis when they are in their 50s. And we would like to avoid any deleterious effect at this age and then ask to optimize calcium and vitamin D outcome, ask to optimize and do it the physical activity, which is good not only for bones, but for the global health, and ask to increase as much as possible the natural protein intake to improve the quality of protein and then the bone uh, protein matrix, which is a key point of the bone health. Um, an issue like bone density, could you also make a relationship with a medication like Kuvan? Kuvan uh, allowed to increase the natural protein intake. This is by this way that the bone quality can improve. It's not the Kuvan itself who plays a role on bone health. It is just because when you are responsive to uh, saproptyrin, you can increase your natural protein intake and then increase the uh, protein matrix of your bone and then finally the bone density. Thank you very much. <laughs>